I've drawn on the circuits, it's time for me to get my LEDs ready to sew. Now, we talked about in the lesson that there are two different legs, dis distance legs on the LED. And you can see that one is negative and one is positive. The short leg is the negative leg. If you think about if you had one leg shorter than the other, it would be a negative thing. That's how you would remember that it's negative. But if we've chopped off both the legs, how are we going to know which one is the negative? And there is an easy way to, know, to uh, identify this. When you turn the LED round, if you look at the collar around here, you'll notice that part of it is flat, like it has been chopped off. You might see that better as I move it round. It's just here. Just wait for the camera to focus on it. Just here. So it's flat on that side. So we know that that is the negative side. What we're going to do is we're going to start with the negative side when we do the sewing. So using the very tips of your um, pliers, the long nose pliers, you're going to very gently turn the leg around. Now you can see I'm supporting the leg so you don't bend it straight away. You're going to turn the leg up like that. Then you're going to put the and uh, long nose pliers again around the other way and you're going to very gently create a loop going up. Like that. And when you meet that, meet that little mark on the legs, stop there. Then what you do is you need to bend the loop up. So put your pliers on both parts of the loop and bend it so that when you look down at the LED you can see it like that and what you might need to do is just bend it out and flatten it okay I'll show you what that looks like from the side and from the top so we still got this long leg here which is the positive leg and the negative leg has been twisted round like that. And the reason that we use the long nose pliers is because it's easier to do without breaking the legs. If you keep bending the legs and straightening them and bending them and straightening them, you will end up snapping off the legs. Now we need this LED to go flat. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use my finger to push that out flat. So you can see that when I lay that LED down, that's going to go nice and flat against the fabric. If you try to make this leg come out at 90 degrees to the straight edge on the collar here, okay, like that, okay, you can see that it's coming out 90 degrees on this side here, then we know that that's going to be nice and flat. Then we need to get our special thread. This is our electronic thread. It's made up of filaments of wire and it is quite hard to thread the needle and you'll see that it's made up of lots of little um, threads, finer threads in there, which means that when you're sewing it can get very tangled. So I'm going to thread my needle like this. You know that I thread my needle like this all the time. Oops. Fold it over the needle, pull it tight and then push the thread through the hole like that and then we're ready to sew this onto our lining now this LED is going to go over this spot here so what I need to do is I need to hold the LED in place and this is when you're going to wish you don't didn't bite your nails if you bite your nails what I will do to start with I'm just going to put two stitches on so one You can put a knot in if you want to, if you find that easier. So I'm going to do three stitches, one, two, three, and you can see that's really tight, that's not coming out, and I don't have any loose ends like that. Then what I'm going to do, I'm going to put the thread through the loop like this, and I'm going to hold it with my thumb on here so you can see that the LED is over the spot. 
and I'm going to do three stitches on this side. One, two, three. And then I'm going to turn it round. I'm going to hold the side that I actually stitched, making sure that's nice and straight again. And I'm going to do three stitches on this side. One, two, You can see I've got a bit of a, a loop there, like that's made a knot. And that's because it gets really tangled. So I'm just gonna let that go. And you can see, I don't know if you saw that it just spun around where the thread gets so tightly woven as you sew. So one, two, three, okay. And that is nice and secure. Okay, I've got three stitches on this side, three stitches on this side. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a small running stitch along my line until I reach the other space where my LED is going to go. Then I'm going to put the other LED on. Okay, here's one I prepared earlier. Okay, just gonna make sure that the legs are straight. I'm going to hold that over. I'll just put this through here first. If you don't have any thumbnails to hold that on, you can actually hold the leg like that to, to sew it. I prefer to hold it at the top because then I know it's actually secure while I'm holding it. Oops, don't pull too tight. You saw what happened there. Okay. Got to be really careful. One of the things you've got to really make sure is you do not wrap the thread around the LED. If you do, you will end up with a short circuit because the electricity is like water. It finds its easiest way back to the cell. And what will happen is the power will go through and instead of going up into the LED, it will join from here to here and the power will go straight across there and it will skip the LED. So it's really important that you do not wrap the thread around the LED and the legs to create a short circuit. So I've got one, two, I'm gonna do one more. To is fiddly, okay, everybody will find it difficult. You're not alone in finding it difficult. One, two, three. Okay, so it's nice and secure there. Okay, they do wobble, but they're secure onto the fabric. And then I'm going to follow my line all the way down. To the cell holder. If you run out of thread and it's getting a bit short, just create an, a knot or stitch onto your set, stitch over the um, the same stitch three times and cut the thread short and then start the new stitch on top of that thread okay so you're still making a connection and then when I get to here oops when I get to here I'm ready to sew my cell holder on so I'll get my cell holder at my pocket and it's very important that you do it the right, right way around we've sewn on the negative leg so it's got to go to the negative side and we do exactly the same. This one's a little bit easier than the LEDs. You just do a few stitches on this side. One, two, three, I might do four to make sure it's really secure. I don't want it flopping around. But also, don't forget these stitches are going to carry the electrical current. So I need to make sure that they are secure and they don't wobble around. I'm sewing down the next one and then I'm going to do a few stitches on this side one two three four and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it over and it's very important that we stop stitching here we do not join it to the other side now to finish my stitching I put my needle through the stitches pull it tight I do that again, but before the loop disappears, I'm gonna put my needle through it 
and pull it tight like that and that creates a knot. Cutting it nice and short. So just to review, we start here, we do three stitches on this side of the loop, three side stitches on this side of the loop, a small running stitch, you can see that running stitch is not bigger than a centimetre, it's about half a centimetre, three running stitches, uh, three stitches on this side of the loop, three stitches on that side of the loop, and then you'll see that the stitch comes down here to that line and it sews on that side. Okay, it should flop off like that. Okay, that's a check to make sure you haven't sewn it on both sides. Then what you do is you do the same on the other side. I'm going to bend the leg round. It doesn't matter which way you do it, as long as you have a nice loop that you can sew. Okay, so I've got one loop there, and then I'm going to do the same with this one. And the reason we do this first now, and we don't do it before we sew the LEDs on, is that we know that the first leg was the negative leg. If we had done this before, you'd be a little bit struggling to find work out which one was the negative and which was the positive. So I'm going to cut myself some more thread. Now this time we don't go down to the cell holder. We're only going to go down to here. And that's because that's where our switch is going to be. If we sew all the way down to the cell holder, as soon as we put the cell holder in, our LEDs will uh, uh, light up and then they won't turn off. Okay, the only way you can turn them off is by um, taking the cell out. So same again. One. Two. And this is just running stitch. You all can do a running stitch, the first stitch you did. Easier stitch to do. Three. And then I'm going to go across there. Because I've already sewn, I don't need to do either side because I've already sewn the top one on either side. One, two. And then this one. I am going to hold this down with my thumb because it's a bit wobbly. See what happens when I put it tight. I don't want to put it too tight. A few stitches down here. One, two, three, four. Okay, so they're nice and secure. I'm going to come down to this spot here, making sure I haven't gone round the LEDs. And I'm going to bring my needle through the middle of my spot and then I'm going to take my thread out of my needle and I'm going to leave it long like that, okay? Because this is what we're going to use to sew on our switch. Now I need another piece of thread. And this time I'm going to start at the cell holder, okay? So again, I'm going to do four or five stitches on this side. Maybe move the needle around the hole so you go around a different part of it. And that way you can see that my stitches have started there and gone around to there. A couple of stitches up. Not one big stitch because it'll be a lot loose and floppy. Uh, can you see what I've done there? I've got two bits of thread there because my other piece of thread is in there. Don't want two bits of thread that affects the current coming through. So a few more stitches here. One, two, three. And then I'm just going to go across and up the line, one. Remember nice small stitches, not too big and floppy, because if you end up with big loops, you end up with stitches that can move and create a short circuit. And then I've come round that one, and then I'm gonna take my thread off my needle. 
So I have this like this, okay? I'm gonna zoom in, see if you can see it a little bit. Okay, so you can see that I've gone from here to here, down to here. Then I've started here, gone across to this LED and I stopped there. And then I started here and here, and then I went across there like that. Okay, now, if I take myself, and this is what you're going to do next, is you're going to check that your circuit is okay. So take your cell out of your packet, but don't throw the packet away. We're going to put our cell in. Now you'll notice that on the cell there is a plus, okay? You'll notice on your cell holder that there is a plus. That means that this cell goes in with a plus up. So I'm going to put the cell in. I'm not going to push it all the way in. I'm just going to just put it so it wedges in. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to join my two lights together. Okay, and you can see that my light has come on. If I take them apart, they turn off. So you can see that this is going to be a switch. If I put them together, they turn on. Now what will happen is if I leave that in there, every time it, that goes in my bag and all of these, you know, walk, walking around and it moves around in your bag, it's going to waste that um, cell. Likewise, if we put that in there and it accidentally comes into contact with an LED, and I'll show you what I mean, in your bag and you just think, oh, just, okay, in your bag and it's just moving around, it could waste the uh, cell again. That happens ever such a lot. So then what you're going to do is you're going to put your cell back in this bag, in this packet, you're going to put it back in there and then you're going to put it back in your in your plastic sleeve and it's going to stay there until you're ready to sew it together. Okay, so now we're ready to assemble the whole thing.